Okay, this is a walkthrough of my module which I made a while ago, but I thought I'd just do a video just kind of demonstrating its purpose and what you can do with it. So this module is called GUM, Global Utility Menu, which you can see here. Um, I've already installed it, but I haven't configured it. So I'll I'll just show you exactly what it does. So just refresh this. I just, I've just been messing around with it myself, but I'll just delete everything, all the current data, so you can see it from scratch. Alright, so you can see this is a normal press shop installation. So if I just go to module positions, then drag gum on on the part where it says top of pages just drag it to the very top so it's the first item and then go back to modules and then configure it you'll notice there's three menus and then a table so this part Basically, what this global utility menu does is it puts a menu just above your search box of links as well as a banner. So it can make make a website look more like traditional layout rather than the Presto Shop layout, even though you can mix the two. Just show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to type the link for our blog. So to add a link, we we'll just write the name of it, the text utility, then add the URL in this field, and then state whether we want it to open a new window or not. So for this one, I will want it to open a new window, because I, I don't want them to be pulled away from the shop immediately. I want them to still have the page that they were on. So if I just refresh, you can see that now I have a link. And they have a banner. And you notice in the default banner actually tells you where the banner is located in your press shop so you can replace it with a different banner and the exact size of the banner to replace it with. And if I just try that link. Uh, I'll spell it wrong. <laughs> we'll just correct that by adding an I in it since it's Media City Online, not Media City Online. So they just give it some time to. Load up. And there you go. So you can see that links out and it opens it in a new window. So if I just go to edit again and take the window off. you'll notice that it just uses the tab you've already got open, it doesn't open a new one. And the way this works is everything will fit inside that little rectangle, both the banner and the links, and you can have any number of links up to about, I believe, as long as you've got two pixels of space per link, which is absolutely 
I don't think you'd ever need that many links. So that'd be like 300 links or something. To fit in that little bar there. And they'll all fit to size. So just to prove that. I'll add some new links. Right, so you can see it's just split in half. If we just add another one. Whoops. So you can see it fits exactly. And obviously, if you've got an uneven number, and an even or uneven number of links, and you can't have the exact same size for each link, this module will basically scale it to the best possible size so that they're as close to being normal sizes to each other as possible. So you'll never have one link that takes up half of this banner and then one link that takes up maybe like a tenth or something. They'll always be roughly the same size. And like I said, you can just add any number of links you want and they'll, they'll just keep basically fitting and scaling. It can also add a title to your banner. Now, all CSS for this module is all editable, so depending on what you want to go for, I'll just type the name of my site as an example. And that can also have a URL. So Ah, I forgot to put HTTP. Right, I'll just correct that. So you can see that works. Remember all these, any, anything you see in this module, it all has CSS linked to it, so any kind of colours or styles or fonts, any of them can be edited. And I'm going to add future spot for just being able to do them straight from the back end rather than um, having designers come through to look at it and modify it. And also, you can have arrangement settings. So, that'd be newest links at the front. So you can see it's just reversed order. And it's up to you which which ones you want to do. You can always re-edit them at any time by just clicking the pencil and then updating. And it's just plain and simple. So this, this module has been out for a while, but I haven't noticed much attention on it, that's why I've made the video, even though I was going to make it regardless. Um, but I do plan on bringing some more features to it, because on my own site, I have several different software running apart from PrestaShop, but it'd be pretty useful if I could basically just use this menu here and just have it exactly the same as this menu without having to configure two different software and have it the same same style and everything so they both look identical um, 
and I'm going to be doing this with several software. The first two that I'm going to integrate it with is WordPress and PHP BB. Um, I'm hoping to do that in February sometime. And I'm also going to be having submenus. So, you know, if you can, when you select over a link, just reverse that. When you select over a link, you can see, automatically see a load of links drop down that are related to that item specifically. So, that's Global Utility Menu. It's on press shop add-ons for the cheapest price of 30 euros. I'm also going to sell it on my online store later on for a lot cheaper. Um, and all the information is on the press shop forum. I'll leave a link to the topic which has all the exact specifications and everything. And check it out.